The area we now call Newcastle was populated as early as 10,000 to 15,000 years ago when the Paleo-Indians spread into this land. These early inhabitants were nomadic hunters who followed large animals in search of food. These hunters evolved into village-dwelling farmers who called the area the home. first town to be established in what is now Lawrence County. The original town plan comprising of 50 acres was laid out by John Carlisle Stewart in April 1798. Newcastle's growth was slow but steady until the coming of the canals. It became a borough in 1825, having fewer than 300 residents. The canals were a boon to the local economy, but a financial the disaster. of the Civil War, Newcastle had a population of 1,882, the county only 20,000. During the war, over 4,000 local men went off to fight. Since Newcastle was not yet connected to the railroad, some men went to Pittsburgh by canal boat, while others took the stagecoach to the train station in Enon Valley. But the majority marched to Enon Valley. The casualties were staggering. The monument on Kennedy Square is dedicated to the memory of the men who fought and died to preserve the Union. The area was known for its coal and limestone, ingredients needed for the iron and later the steel. George and Charles Greer, with the backing of William Foltz and R.F. Cunningham, opened the Greer Tin Mill in 1893, where the empty Rockwell plant now stands. It soon became the largest in the world. Immigrants flocked to Newcastle from all over Europe. The Welsh moved into what had been the Irish settlement of Mahoningtown, and soon the Southern Europeans and Slavic peoples followed. With the strike still fresh in everyone's mind, Newcastle elected a socialist mayor, Walter Tyler, and a socialist city council. In March of 1913, a large flood devastated the city. Although only two lives were lost, the style of life was changed for thousands of residents. 